Yo, what's good, Gary413 here back in the day, and today, guys, we are going to be doing something a little interesting. We are going to be playing Forza Motorsport 5. Now, I have never actually played this game before. Welcome I have played everything but the demo. That, I mean, that's all I've done is all I've played is the demo, which is just absolutely crazy. Because when Forza Motorsport 5 came out, it was a launch title for the Xbox One. And I did not buy an Xbox One when it first launched. So I never got to play Forza Motorsport 5 when it first came out. And the only reason that I have it now is because with Games with Gold this month in September, you're actually able to go ahead and get a free copy of Forza Motorsport 5, which is just amazing. I am so excited about that. But I figured, let's go ahead and try and do a Let's Play for Forza Motorsport 5, get through the entire game before Forza Motorsport 7 comes out, which comes out just in a few weeks, which is crazy. Because right now, today is actually September 11th, which, if you're an American, you guys know what that means to us. But, the game comes out in 18 days, and I want to try and pop through Forza 5 before that gets up, because, as you guys know, there are probably going to be some kind of driver rewards for Forza Motorsport 7. And if you get up to that next tier in Forza Hub, oh my god, you guys are going to get another car or something like that. You guys are going to get up to a certain point and, you know, occasionally they got like, oh, if you played Forza Motorsport 5, you get a special car. So you might get upwards of two more cars to start out the game in Forza Motorsport 7. But anyway, that, I'm just rambling now. Let's go ahead and hop on into it. So... Brightness adjustment. I mean that that works fine for me. I didn't even really see how you could adjust that brightness. Don't really care. Cars. Ooh, another cutscene. To some, they're just transport. A convenient alternative to highly flammable dirigibles or walking. But you, you understand, cars are far more than this. They are our history. They mark the moments by which we define decades. Cars are some of the most intoxicating, most beautiful things ever forged by mankind. They represent the glory of technology, the essence of freedom, and have been the weapons in some of our most gripping sporting battles. They grip us, they cheer us on, they hold us up as heroes. So this is about the love of all things four-wheeled and fast. This is a shrine to power, to speed, to metal made beautiful. This is where dreams are driven. Welcome to Forza. Man, guys, where is that dreams are driven? anymore we don't really see that anymore with the forza franchise you know i played forza motorsport 6 here just a couple of days ago or i think maybe like last weekend because forza was doing like a free like weekend forza motorsport 6 deal so i downloaded the game i played it a little bit didn't get nearly as far as i wanted to but when i started the game up they gave me 11 and a half million credits which was just crazy i was like so excited about that but Oh, yeah, let, let's get some good shots of this McLaren P1. But as I was saying, though, just a second ago Open is, man, it was it was just so good. It was so good. I loved Forza Motorsport 6 so far. When I really went into it thinking, man, Forza 6, because I didn't get it because I was not too excited because there wasn't an auction house. There wasn't anything like that. Now, there's no auction house here in Forza 5 either. But, I mean, we're going to have a good time. So we gotta open up the door in our Forza Vista. Use the left thumb to get in the car. car the yep, start the car. I'm gonna start it. Do we have to do that for every time? Because that would kind of suck a little bit. All right, let's see how well we can do in our McLaren P1. All right. That's the proper view right there. Damn automatic. Why is it an automatic? 
Now, the, how I was able to actually play the demo for this game is kind of a great story because there, there's a target that's nearby my house or my parents' house anyway. So I used to actually walk and ride my bike all the way down to target. Oh shit, that's a big crash. Oh god, we're gonna rewind right there because that was, oh, oh that was a big crash. Stupid Pagani, what what are you doing, man? What are you doing? I, I just wanted to get by, and you're not letting me get by. There we go. That is some sweet, sweet revenge on that Pagani. All right. We're not going to try and be mean to the, uh, the Hennessy. I almost called it a Lotus, guys. <laughs> All right, come on, Koenig Zig. We can pass the Koenig Zig in our McLaren, can't we? Jay Davis, we're going to pass you. Where's M. Rossi? M. Rossi should be up front, not Jay Davis. Come on, man, come on. All right, here we go. Break, 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 break. And we go into the turn. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I forgot about this. It, it's got the assisted braking on, which is kind of shit. We will be turning that off here in not too terribly long, but yeah, oh my gosh, come on, man. This game is so beautiful. In fact, I would go as far as saying that this game is prettier than Forza Motorsport 6's because this game was just built to, you know, show off everything that was capable with the Xbox One. I, I honestly think that this is such a beautiful game. I, I, I would go as far as saying it is better than Forza 6. But the one issue with Forza Motorsport 5 is the lack of cars. From what I've heard, there are not a lot of cars in this game. And you know, I, I really don't know too much because when this game came out, I was not planning on getting an Xbox One anytime soon, which is why I don't know anything about this game. I did no research, no nothing. We just got this for free, so I'm like, let's go ahead and hop on into this. Let's, let's do something fun. Let us do something fun. So that is our, oh, first place, one lap. Okay, that was kind of a big lap, I will say that. So new badge and title unlocked. Welcome to Forza Motorsport, complete the very first race. We got a little, some scratches on our McLaren, but you know, you know how it is. That race was only a taste of the journey ahead of you. As we continue, you will traverse an epic automotive world. Full mm -hmm. fast cars, old rivalries, and new technology. Woo! Fast cars! That's what, you know, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of this, like, you guys know I like Rick and Morty, right? So, but it reminds me of this one guy, home to a and he's just like, of cars, from vintage to sport to grand touring. Mm -hmm. I kind of know all this. With the modern sport compact championship series. Yep. But before you choose your car, Let's learn more about the group from BBC's Top Gear. Oh, we get to hear something from Top Gear. When, in 2012, Mr. Toyota and Mrs. Subaru announced the arrival of their twins, GT86 and BRZ, the world rejoiced. Here were two cars designed not to save the planet, nor to take your entire extended family to the seaside in a modular lounge environment. No, they were designed to make you smile. They were small, lightweight, skinny tired, rear drive, and affordable. This was the beginning of a new age for sporty That's business. why I want one. Only it wasn't. If you looked hard enough, there have always been affordable cars designed to brighten up your day. Mazda yeah, especially is always provided for the enthusiastic driver. That's why it made the simple, Breaks wonderful MX-5 and the RX-8. The Honda S2000, meanwhile, I is want a that screamer, and it's possible the same applies to the Hyundai Genesis. But I'm not sure, as it's only sold in Korea and the United States. So yeah, I really do want a Hyundai Genesis because, but they're so expensive, though. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever looked at them, like for cars. At least I haven't looked at them recently, but the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. God, it's so expensive. It is so expensive. But I put it right there in the ballpark along with these cars. But they're more expensive than them. Like, shoot. I, you can pick up a Honda S2000 used for like 10 Gs. And then, like, you can actually pick up a Subaru BRZ. They're a little bit more than the FRSs because a lot of people want that Subaru logo on there. 
Uh, I think you can get a fairly decent one for around 10 grand as well. But I mean, you know. All right, let's see though. There's the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. What car do we pick? So we got the GT86. We got the Golf R. Each one of these is free. So these are the recommended choices, which means that they're probably the best cars in the class. C class, or what? Which one's D? Oh, wait. It keeps showing it as a D class 398, and then it's, I think maybe that's because it gets upgraded or something. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm actually really excited about this, guys. So here we go. I think we are going to start off with the Subaru BRZ or BRZ, you know. So let's let's go. Let's take it out for a spin. We could have chose one of those Audis. From the cloud, recommended just for you. As okay. More design, so let's see here. This list adapts to match your tastes. Yeah, I I've actually heard that the designs for this game are kind of shit. But oh man, though there are some good ones though for this BRZ. Like I really actually like how this rose is done right there. That is a good rose. Uh, in fact, I think I might know the painter because I feel like I've downloaded some one of his paints like in Forza 4 maybe and there's Link We got Falcon and we got some kind of anime design Hey I saw GR at the beginning. I thought like oh man, is this me? <laughs> Somehow I painted this. I, I did not paint this But I'm thinking since this is mostly a racing game and this is gonna be a racing car We're gonna go with the Falcon Drift design. So, yeah, here we go. Select car. Your first car is free as you progress. Yep. I know that. I know that. Where are my credits? Where are my credits? Where are my cars? You're going to give that to me after we complete our first race or something? Because, you know, I'm a Forza veteran. This is your 2013 Subaru BRZ. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate that. It looks this good. This is your career home space. Come back here to access Forza Vista and customize your cars. Your first career takes you on a journey to five of the world's great racing venues. Mm-hmm. All right. So here we go. First race, Alps Festival. I do really like this circuit, guys. The Alps Festival was like one of my favorite circuits. Snow-capped mountains of the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. But I mean, look how beautiful that is, guys. Like the snow. Oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. I'm kind of hoping, though, in Forza 7 with the Bernays Alps, that, because, you know, they have, like, rain weather. Are they going to add snow weather, since that's really what this is about? It's about snow, because it's the Alps. Are they going to have, like, snowy weather, and it's going to be even more slick than rain? That would be something interesting to see. No I wasn't even drivers. thinking about that before. Using Drivatar technology, you are always racing against real people with their real mm -hmm. tendencies delivered from the cloud. Yep, I already knew that. So let's see here. Starting race. So we need to get third place at least to get our maximum level. And we have zero credits, which leads me to believe that we also have zero cars. I don't know yet though. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how all of this goes down. All right, so we got our Subaru BRZ. Hold on, can I? I, I wanna change my assists. Can I do that? Oh God. Oh God, all right. <sighs> Crap. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna click restart because hopefully we'll be able to change our assists. Because that is what we need to do. We need to get rid of this freaking automatic shit. All right. Drive a tar and assist. Here we go. Nope. Breaking only. Off. Or no. I, I like I like ABS on. Steering normal. Uh, Turn that shit off. Nope. Manual with clutch. Cosmetic. Yes, yeah, sure. Sounds good. Drive a tar difficulty. Bonus credits for taking on higher skill drive a tars. Turn up the difficulty to increase your earnings. So let's start out an expert. Let's let's just start out an expert. I'm not sure how difficult the drive tires were in Force Motorsport 5. So we're gonna start out an expert before we do that unbeatable setting. Alright, now let's get into it. We can definitely get third place on expert. We gotta be able to get at least third. All right, here we go. 
First off the line, ready to go. Come on, Subaru. Suba what? Suba who? Subaru. Oh, we're getting a little bit squirrely. Oh crap, there's music, there's music. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on, can't have that, can't have that. I completely forgot about all that. So, in race music, off. We, we don't want any music. We don't want any music. Oh, I can turn off menu music too. That is, that'll actually be helpful. So, let's see. That's all good, that's all good. Resume. Because what we want to hear is we mostly want to hear that beautiful car noise. Who cares about music when we got a natural music coming from that engine? I mean, listen to that. Oh, it sounds good. All right, so we're passing into 10th place now. Come on, Subaru. That's what we need. That's what we need. So I have been told, somebody messaged me and told me that, you know, my drive guitar in Forza 5 is a dick. And well, I guess I'm kind of a dick. Oh, ooh. Ooh, we hit that BMW pretty badly there. Here we go. Yeah, let me pass. Thank you. Come on. Oh. Oh, listen to that. That sounds glorious. Oh. You know what I'm talking about, guys. You know already what I'm talking about. Man, I used to have this track down. Like, I mean, down. Like, I actually have a picture up on my Forza gallery of me with a Pontiac Fiero in Forza Motorsport 4. Sitting right there off that edge, taking just a glorious black and white photo. Oh! This track brings back some memories, man. I loved this track. Thank you for actually letting me pass, man. It's all we gotta do. It's all we gotta do. I can definitely tell that the tires haven't necessarily been made wider because this car still wants to get kind of squirrely and get out. So we're definitely gonna have to go in and upgrade here in a little bit. Because, I mean, you guys look at that. We're getting too much skids. So, all right. Come on. So, two laps. We're up into fifth. Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. We need to somehow pull off third. So, all right, gotta concentrate, gotta concentrate. Too much skid, oh, that's not good for us. Definitely gonna have to go back in there and do a couple of upgrades to make this car how I need it to be. Oh, they are close together. We might be able to pull off if we're, if we're like, you know, kind of tricky enough. Oh, ah, damn it, Volkswagen, get out of the way. Get out of the way, I need to pass you. I need to pass you, Mr. Hulk. That's what I need to do. Nice paint job, by the way. All right, let's see if we can take him on the interior line up here. No, we don't have enough speed. Oh, wait, or do we? Do we? Yeah! Woo! Got a little bit squirrely, though. Oh, crashed just a little. Ooh, we are over... Oh, no, no, Audi, no, 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 stay behind me, stay behind me, we are not going to deal with that, no, we are not, all right, come on, oh, Subaru, let's go, get second, I need wider tires, that is what I do need. Although, I will say, at this kind of low level, I will say probably power is a little bit more important. But we definitely do need some wider tires.
And the one thing I will say, though, as well, is I do like the handling in the Motorsport series a lot better than I do the Horizon series. It definitely feels a lot more realistic, and it's a lot more... How do you say? It, it's, it feels easier to control, and it feels more... I can't really say it. I, I don't really know what it is. It just feels good. It feels good. Horizon, it, it's it's so much more arcadey. It, it's just... Ooh. There we go. 688 or 6,888 credits. Not too shabby to start off with. How much XP did we get? So we got... Ooh. Woohoo! So we are starting off already pretty good with 40 grand. That's not too shabby if I do say so myself. All right. You, you can continue now. Okay. That's taking a while. Oh, and... Collecting data on how you race, how you pass, and how you hit each apex. After a few races, your drivatar will be ready to go out into the community and race on your behalf. Okay, so it's actually going to take a couple races till our driver tar gets out. Even though I already know it's out. But uh, I can tell somebody was just trying to call me. Uh, so I'm going to have to call them back here in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and hit continue. Because where are my bonus cars? Where are my bonus cars? Where's my bonus credits? Today we That's what I really want. Dunsfold, England, home of the hit TV show Top Gear and their famous Top Gear test track. Not all that hit anymore. What? I, I mean, yeah, that is kind of true, though. Because with Jeremy Clarkson gone, like, all the Top Gear just all of a sudden crashed because James May and Richard Hammond realized that, you know, the show was not going to be as good without him. And, I mean... Welcome to London, one of the greatest cities on Earth where millions of tourists flock every year Using advanced modeling techniques and a large airfield in Surrey, we have constructed this perfectly accurate recreation of driving in England's historical capital. Construction signs, closed road lanes, rubbish bins, you'll have to avoid all these traditional London milestones in the Top Gear London Simulation Challenge. Okay, this sounds pretty terrible. This sounds like it's going to be a terrible event, but it's probably going to be the last thing that we get to do for today. Although actually, maybe, maybe we don't have to avoid everything. Maybe we can actually like crash through some stuff. I, I don't know, but let's go ahead and start this race up and then we'll get into the first episode. It'll be done. It'll be done, guys. Whew, I'm, I'm excited. All right, we already got a baker our first corner. Oh, yeah. Look at all the bins. Oh, my gosh. All the bins. All the traffic cones. Cut in the corner. Very, very narrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a dick. Oh, we went off the track just a little bit there. But we are already up in the third place. I did lift there, guys. I just got distracted so much by all this. Oh, oh, that snap steer, though. That snap steer kind of threw us off a bit. We're back in the third. We lost a couple positions there, but can we make it up? That is what is yet to be seen. So we only got two laps of this. God, why are they all driving so freaking slow?
And now the track is clear. And all we got to do is just keep following the track and we will be home free. That's all it takes. That's all it takes, guys. All right, around the hammerhead. Ooh, here we go. Using up as much of the track as we possibly can. Here we go. A little bit sideways there. Not gonna lift this time, not gonna lift. Cut the corner slightly. We didn't actually really cut the corner all that well there. All right, last quarter. And across the line. There we go, guys. One minute, 30 seconds for our best lap, which isn't too shabby, if I do say so myself. Now, we just, just as, <laughs> we did just get an achievement, which says reach driver level one. Uh, then there's another one, my kind of car, reach affinity level one with any car manufacturer. Okay. What else we got? Okay, so we did just get two achievements. Every time you level your car, here we go. Affinity level, you increase that manufacturer's payout bonus. Ooh. Each race you run in that brand of car earns you bonus credits based on its affinity level. That's actually a pretty good idea. I like that. I do like that because I think in Forza Six, what it was is that you just get a bonus. Data, but further races are required before it's ready to represent you on the track. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. Yep. Well, guys, anyway, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 And as well, if you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to hit subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.